Hello, welcome to DTS Tech Fit. So today we will be working on assignment two, create a design and it's for level two IT. And remember, we are working on unit 13. If you have not subscribed to us yet, please like, share and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the awesome stuff we have here on this channel for you. For your introduction, yes. So in order to get some ideas about what you might include in your website, you have to evaluate two existing websites. Now it's time to plan and design your website and justify your final decisions. To achieve the criteria, you must show that you are able to Produce a design for an eight page interlinked website. Describe the purpose and user requirements for the website. Produce a detailed design for a website. And finally, you need to justify the final decisions. So your final design decisions. So for your P2, we will be writing about the purpose. But before we write about the purpose, you can write a brief introductory statement or an introduction to introduce the content of your assessment. When you're done writing your introduction, and as you can see here, we have a example of how you can write up your introduction. There's also an example of your purpose. So for mobile world station and remember we're working with mobile world station we're creating the website for mobile world station you can give a brief description as to say what their website will be about what the content of the website will be and who is geared towards that's where your target audiences will come in so you know for mobile world station they will sell mobiles mobile phones, mobile tariffs, they will sell mobile accessories, they may sell laptops, they may sell computers as well. So these are the information that will be on the website. So we need to write about the purpose of the website. And this information will be geared towards selling these devices on the website or these tariffs that they will have available to their customers so please pay key attention to this information now that you have completed your purpose you need to move on to your requirements so this is an example of the requirements right here on the screen please do not plagiarize use it as an example and avoid all these, these are slashes. Remember, I prefer to use OR instead of a slash. And that is a mistake right here. So you're just paying attention mostly to the content. Remember, you need to change your grammar and read it or proofread it, get someone to check it for you. So at least you are able to submit something with less plagiarism, less grammatical errors as well as misspelled words. The design for your website will include a storyboard. And for your storyboard, you will need eight pages. Always remember, eight pages. If you don't include eight pages, this means that you will fail the assessment. You'll also need a description of styles, templates, formats, and interactive features. You'll also, yeah, I keep saying also, forgive me. You will need as well a site map, including a home page and file structure. You will need a description of the original and already made assets to be used. You'll need a table of sources for any original and or ready-made assets. We'll go over the difference between ready-made and original assets later on. And finally, in P3, you will need a test plan and data giving an outline of the range of tests that will be used to check the functionality of your website. Good luck! P2 
So for your P3, you're going to cover a site map, storyboard, description of styles, a description of the assets, a fully referenced table of sources, and a test plan. First, we will start with our test plan. So while completing your assignment, I will give you hints and tips on what you need to do. The hint or the tip here is that you need to produce two sitemaps. So you're going to create one and then you'll create an alternative design. This means you would have started your M2. You can visit the site slickplan.com or you can design it in Microsoft Word or Microsoft PowerPoint. Storyboard. Now we're at our storyboard and not to worry, you will receive a template to complete this. But you remember in your templates, you need to have eight, eight different storyboard with the description of what color you'll be using, what scheme, what color scheme you'll be, you'll be using, what layout you'll be using, and what interactive features you'll be using for your website. And remember, the key here is eight pages. If you do not produce eight pages, guess what? You will fail. This is the other section of the storyboard. We will be going through that. So it will be a template that you will actually create your storyboard in PowerPoint. Then you will paste it, cut and paste it into this template, and then you'll fill in the description around the PowerPoint slide that you have pasted. But I will create a video on that as well. So stay tuned. So this is why you need to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of it. Any of the great videos we have here in store for you, 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 yeah, you. Now, this is another piece of task that you need to definitely complete. Without it, yes, you know, I'm not going to say it. I think I'm saying it too much. You should have gotten the gist. So on here is your assets list. In your assets list, you'll have your ready-made and your original assets. You'll have an image of them, you'll have a description of them, the type as well, and you need to say where you got it from. So you need the URL. So it says original here, yes, and then you'll have the URL. And you can also use a shortened form of the URL so you don't have the long, can you see how long that is? So we will try to avoid that and we'll work on getting a shorter form of your URLs. Test plan. So this is a test plan. So the test plan is how you plan to test the website when you have completed the design or you have created the design. You will need to test it. You need to test um, for your pages. You test whether or not they load effectively enough or are they too slow you need to and if there are any errors when loading these pages you'll also need to test your links your interactive or your your links that are external you want to ensure that they do work and they do direct you to the specific path that you wish for the user to arrive to and this is only a plan so you'll have it laid out how you will test all eight pages then we will do the actual plan in the next assignment well we'll do the testing congratulations you are now at your m1 task for m1 you'll be completing a few tasks you would have started this in p3 where you would have done an alternative design both for your storyboard and for your sitemaps. So for M1, you need to produce a detailed design for a website, including your alternative design solutions. So to design of your storyboards, as I just said, your original and an alternative design, two designs of your sitemap as well, 
and also you need to produce a explanation of the aesthetic features and finally you need to produce an explanation of the interactive components this is an example of how you can write up about your interactive features and your assets for your m1 and as you can see it's here please do not plagiarize use it as a guide so congratulations you have or would have been working towards completing your m1 see you in the next part of the video please like share and subscribe to the channel bye